Hi, I'm Mick Sadler, and today we're going to look at barn doors. Now, this is a standard reflector fitted on the front of a strobe, and this is our barn doors. And it's got two adjustable screws at the top, and that hooks over the roll edge of the reflector. Now, your reflector does need to have a roll edge. On the bottom here is uh, a clip, and so it's like a spring clip, so it will come undone, go around the bottom of the reflector and clip up. And that is your barn door attached. The barn door, the barn doors come with a number of gels. So there's three gels, four gels, there's a red, a blue, a yellow and a diffuser. And you can have a diffuser on. But also come with this which is a grid so you just need to put your gel in and it just slips in like this and then if you want you can also add your grid and uh, there's your barn door and you can alter these doors as you want to uh, let them mount a light or cut light off for a certain area but well, this is the barn door and it will throw uh, a big uh, area of light. We've got a red gel in. So on the front of a, a strobe and we're using the modeling light. But if I bring the barn doors in, you can see you can close down where the light goes. So if we put in the grid, with the grid in place, you can see this concentrates the light to actually um, not stray too much. So we got the grid in, and you can place this in front of the camera, pointing towards the lens. And lo as long as it's slightly oblique, the grid will not uh, show any light coming out from it, only onto where you want it, the subject. So it stops any sort of flare going into the camera lens.